Hello spider peeps. So what are we going to do today? Well, we've got this RP2040 that I played with in a previous video. And I bought this from Timu and I decided it was a clone of the WaveShare one. But we've also decided that this chip is a valid 2040 chip. So that's fine. So I've flashed something onto here. I wonder if you can work out what I'm going to do with this today. Well, you probably will have seen it because of the thumbnail. So spoilers. Oh. But maybe this is a clue. I've got a, a VGA connector. Do you remember that? How old are you if you remember a VGA cable? Probably not that old. All right. And I've got a cable to plug into it and various other things. All right. So the other day I was uh, scrolling through my Insta. And I think I saw a post by Hack Stereo saying that someone had created a version of a Mac 128 that ran on the Pico. And I uh, thought, what a great way to test one of these little RP2040s. So I've spent an awful long time over the last couple of days trying to flash the firmware for it onto this. Now, there's some real cool sites where you can just upload a disk file for a Mac and it will do it for you. But the issue with this is if we look at these pins, you see we've got um, the GPIO pins that work from 0 to go all there, go to 9, 10, 11, 13. We knew in a previous video that this is running on pin 16, but there isn't a pin 16. It goes 13, 14, 15, and then it goes to 27, 28, 29. Um, so there's a load of pins missing on this. Uh, I did find out that these teeny little test points on the back, these are the other pins, but there's no way that I can solder anything onto those, I don't think. Uh, so what I had to do is recompile the firmware on my Mac, which I did not find easy. I've never had much fun with building C files on my Mac. That's not because the Mac can't do it. That's just because spider math is stupid. But anyway, I finally, after having a couple of days off work, worked out how to do this and I've adjusted the firmware so that it works on these pins so it sends the VGA signals out on these pins down the bottom instead of the uh, what, what it was 20 25 26 what the original one is let's try and wire this up today and see whether I can get it to work so what have we got to wire into this? So we've got to add a five volt supply. So five volt. So five volt goes into um, VBUS. So I'm just going to take that from my power supply. And then obviously ground goes into ground. And then the video outputs, I've got to get a hundred ohm resistor, which I've got here. So that's got to go from on my firmware. I made the video data pin 9, the vertical was pin 10, the clock which we don't use, I set at 12, I'll put that over there because I'm not using it, and the horizontal, <laughs> that's what I don't normally write, the horizontal was on pin 11, so I've got to use pin 9, 10 and 11, so I think what I'll do, I'm going to solder this little header that you get with it on there, but on this occasion, I'm just going to bend these pins out because I'm only playing with it. So, yeah, so the video output, which is that, so that's going to be the 100 ohm, ohm resistor. And that goes to the VGA thing and it goes to all three pins. So pins one, two, three. OK, so I've got to wire that bit up. And then the horizontal sink has got to go through 66 ohm resistor now i haven't got any of them but i do have a couple of 82 ohms so i'm just gonna see these are pulled out of something else which i've had for decades but at one point i went through and uh, very nicely uh, wrote it all on there so yeah so i've got two 82 so both of those the, the horizontal and the vertical have got to go through these are the resistors so the vertical's got to go to 10 pin 10 uh, which is the vga pin 14 and then this horizontal has got to go to the VGA 13. All right. So now looking at this. So this is on that. This is looking at this. One, two, three, four, five. So this is pin one. And this is pin five. Let me just check my maths on that. Yeah. So that's pin one, five. So then the next one's got to be pin six, has it? Yeah. So that's pin six to ten and then 11 to 15 over here. 
All right, so I think the most complicated bit actually is wiring this is wiring this bit up. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to leave this recording now. Um, I'm probably not going to talk about this too much because I'll be concentrating, so I won't do it wrong. And uh, let's get this wired up. Let's put some light music on and uh, and do this. All right, I can't remember who it was, but one of the commenters on the, my previous video said that he was getting OCD for the soldering around here. Which you're probably right. Hopefully this bush soldering. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't trigger you as well. Sorry if it does. Okay, so let's do that. I think that is ready. All right, so it should just be a case of powering this up now. I'm just going to set five volts on my bench power supply. And then when I put this on, the, the standard Pico version, the firmware flashes the onboard LED. Of course, I haven't got an onboard LED on this one. I was just wondering, actually, it might be a good idea to wire up an LED onto this so we can see whether it's working. 
um, but we don't know at the moment. So let's pop um, negative on there. And then I can put the positive on the other side. But I'm going to plug my VGA monitor into it. Yeah, plug that monitor in first. Now you're not going to be able to see whether this works or not because of the way it's set up. But you will be able to see the flames that will no doubt come off this or the smoke that's released. So let's try to power. All right. Well, that was definitely doing something for a second. So when I connected this, the monitor came up and said cable not connected, but it woke the monitor up. So I did something right. Let's have another go. <laughs> OK, so as you can see, things have changed. So this is one I bought from Timu, as I said, but I wonder if you can see this. Let's zoom in. Let me just see whether I can show you this. This basically, whenever I plugged it in, was getting red hot. When I plugged it into the computer or where, whether I powered it up, it was just getting red hot. Now, there's a series of resistors. But there's a series of resistors, see there, that I think are probably line resistors that go from all capacitors that go to the um, USB-C. There was a couple missing on that bit there. And then there was one that I think was misplaced and it was shorting across the other. It might even have fallen off now. But anyway, I wonder whether this was playing up. I took the pins off there. And notice I'd actually done this. So I was using pins 9, 10 and 11. And because I couldn't get it to work in, I went and checked a few things. And it turns out that the program with the VGA driver wants consecutive pins and pin 11 is a clock. Now, we don't use the clock on this. We don't need to use the clock on this. Um, but because I'd done that one as the horizontal thing sync, the libraries didn't like it. So I had to change it. So let's have a look at uh, my new wire up probably come out a bit so it's the same set of wiring really that i used previously i've got the power and the ground going in on wires now and see i also i've put a led on it now the pico version uses on board led and flashes that and we know from previous videos that this is a multicolor rgb one so you can't just turn it on and off so i decided that i was going to wire this up so that it also gave it an output with the heartbeats so to make sure what I'd installed on this was working. So this USB now is just using an on the go connector which is connecting to a mouse and if the mouse goes red I know that that's powering it right. We've got that going in and the VGA connectors in and you notice this uses non-consecutive pins so it uses pin 9, 10, misses 11, we don't use the clock and then 12 with the other sink so the big reveal is this so this isn't going to be easy for me to do but if i go and look at my monitor up here zoom out so you see i have a mac running on my monitor so that's it so how cool is that and uh, to try and well test something let's open missile command and yeah, it's working with the mouse, obviously not got a keyboard attached to it yet. And uh, I'm playing Mac games on this teeny RP2040. How cool is that? All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, we've got this working. We've, we've proved that Pico Mac will run on a RP2040. But this is a bit of a mess. So I'm going to design a circuit board for this in a later video. And other, pe other people have done it, but yeah, maybe not for the 2040. So uh, if you'd like to see that, please subscribe if you're not already and give me a like. And hopefully when that next video is out, you'll enjoy that as well. Bye. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ooh. Really needs a trackball to truly enjoy this. And around, no survivors!